everybody. So it's really early in the morning. It's like five. Um, and we're getting ready to go to Sudbury. And I know Ed's doing his video, but I'm also doing a video to explain uh, the reason why. Because I have an appointment there and it's with uh, a neurologist. Um, because St. Michael's only does yearly um, appointments and you know my doctor with the symptoms that I'm experiencing lately um, so she's you know got me in to see a neurologist in Sudbury so that's where I'm off to I'll let you guys know what happens there and you know stuff like that so anyways I gotta finish getting ready and then uh, and then we're off so I'll be doing video like on the way to Sudbury too, so stay tuned for the next clip. Okay, we're over halfway now and we're just stopping to let Charlie take a pee. Hurry up, take a pee. Take me. Come on. Charlie, get out of there. Get out of there. Where's Ed? <laughs> I gotta get a joint into me. It's been too long of a ride so far. Look at that, somebody was drinking one of their beer cans out on the highway. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Not too smart. <laughs> Come on, Charlie, get out there. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, um, so we're closer to Sudbury. We're 73 kilometers. And um, my heart beats a little bit up there because when we came Back, we were back there a little bit and there, a guy was passing another fucking vehicle and why would you pass a vehicle on a turn? Yeah, right at Onaping Lake. Jesus, so I had to, I had to, but even the lady that he was passing slowed down because he, he would have fucking hit us head on. What a fucking moron. Don't pass on the fucking corners. And that's all I have to say until I get I, to I almost thought I was never going to see my bong again. Okay. So, I figured I'd just kind of say that and I'll talk to you guys more when I get to Sudbury. <sighs> okay, so I'm at uh, the medical center where I go and see the, um, the neurologist. So. Drivers. Anyways, we're going into right there. I think it's gonna be on the fourth floor. I don't know. It's a busy little parking lot, that's for sure. Ed and Charlie are in the car. There's nothing I can do about that. The back of my pants are probably all full of freaking um, water. Okay. Oh,
Okay, we're leaving the uh, doctor's office. I don't know what to say. Nobody really knows anything. Um, I'll talk more about it when I uh, get home, but it's frustrating. Ooh. Here we are in the elevator. Let's go to the grounds. Come on. Yeah, so, yeah, I'll, I'll talk more about it when I get, uh, when I get home, I'll kind of let you guys know, but here's my stock, not two. Maybe we're stopping, oh, there you go. Okay, bye. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so, um, we're home now, and... Um, you may hear Ed is doing his video, and so you may hear him, but, um, I'm going to talk about what happens at the, at the neurologist's appointment. So, like, this is so frustrating to deal with. I mean, I wouldn't wish this upon anybody. So... Because I am suffering from these, like I, I don't know if I had said anything to you guys before or not, but I get right on the eyebrow here. I wake up and it's just pounding and I've tried everything for that. Um, the heat doesn't help. The cold doesn't help. This was, I explained all this in there. Uh, with her, which, the, you know what, the doctor is very nice, I will say Dr. Matthews in Sudbury is very nice, um, very understanding, but, so anyways, like, she's asking me that, and what do I do for it, and do, do I know when it's, no, I don't know when it's coming, like, I explained this to her, I just, it, it's already there, it's already right there, and I have explained to her that, um, I would say in the past maybe month, two months I've been getting the pain here and it travels it, it kind of misses this part here and then it goes into the eyebrow bone that's where it feels like so you know she went over my prescription list and she started asking me if I've ever taken like these certain things for to deal with the migraine now the problem with that is, um, <laughs> you probably hear it. Um, the problem with that is when people have migraines, they, she said, you know, there was a lot of things here. Um, you know, 90% of them, 95%, between 90 and 95 something, already can feel the migraine coming. So there is, prescription pills that those people can take the problem that they're having is because I'm it's already the pain is already there um those pills won't work for me because it she said she explained it to me like the when people suffer from a migraine they slowly feel it coming in they would take a pill and these pills that she was talking about one of the like you just you don't even she said you don't even have to swallow it you just put it there it dissolves and within 20 minutes it kind of stops the migraine but like I said if I'm waking up with it just fully blown right there then I can't take these pills so she you know she she said you know on your next one just to see she didn't think it was gonna work but to try it anyways if the pill does any like there's certain pills so only had like a couple pills but so if that doesn't work but she doesn't think is gonna work um so two months from so all of march and all of april i'm to um mark down my headaches it's not even a headache it's headache is all here i haven't had a headache in the I can't even remember when because the pain is always right here. They, she looked up my um, MRI. She's seen the lesion. And she's, 
you know what? It's kind of like they're they they're at a loss. Like they don't know. You know. Also, another thing in there was, well, did you have migraines? Did you have this pain when you were a teenager? No, I rare. I would maybe get a headache maybe once a year, and that was just a you know just your regular head. I don't. I wish I got just regular headaches because what I deal with is horrible. She had asked what you know helps. I told her I. I just sit there. I just literally sit there because I cannot, I can barely open my eyes. And on top of that, um, it gets to the point I, you know, I throw up and it kind of relieves a little bit of the pressure, but it's still there. Also, I had to bring up to her um, um, that. It started off with, you know, one day suffering and that's, you know, like the, the full waking up with it until I went to bed. It was, it wasn't as bad after I threw up, but the pain was still there and it would stay there and, you know, till I went to bed and the next morning I'd get up and, you know, what it was, now it's, I'm, it, I get a mic, like, I get the pain, the migraine, I guess. I don't know. They don't even know. So I get the pain. I wake up with the pain here. Um, and it's now staying two days. It's not one day. It's two days. And she asked me, like, what am I taking? Well, <laughs> what do you take? Because um, <laughs> you roll your head. <laughs> Oh, I'll kind of talk about that after. Um, what was I talking about? So not like I take Motrin I, and, and Tylenol and you know what? I end up throwing those up and then I have to start all over. Like I, it, it's, I don't know if it's really going away from the Motrin or in the Tylenol or just the Motrin or Advil or whatever because it's still it's now it's just kind of there for longer and then it just kind of leaves and then it'll come back and you know why and then I'll go maybe like a week week and a half I'll be okay and then bang and it just I literally would like to just rip out my eye that's how bad it hurts and then with all the other symptoms that I'm having, um, like there's been, you know, um, there's just a lot, like the symptoms that I'm having is like my balance is not the greatest anymore. The, the, the headache, the pain that I'm getting is now staying, you know, an extra day. Um, my short term memory is... It's so bad. I can't even, I, I, I can't even go into that. It's just really bad. Um, um, my, I explained this to my family doctor too. Like when I'm going down, down the stairs, usually the last three, sometimes four, but the last three, everything looks like it's coming together. Like as, and I just grab onto the railing and I'll just, you know, so I don't know what that's about. And oh, there's just so much. There, there's, I have the, I haven't told anybody, well, Ed knows and my family doctor knows, but my left hand has started like, um, the family doctor says it's tremors. It's not all the time. It's, you know, but it's still, my hand just will start shaking. Like, and it, I, I really don't like that. And to travel to Sudbury, like, it wouldn't matter if I traveled to Sudbury or to Toronto. I'm traveling, you know, hoping to get an answer, and it's just kind of like, nobody knows, and I wish there was, I, like I said to her, you know what, I would, I would give anything just for a regular headache, I said, because, and she, you know, she was very understanding about it, and she said, you know, she would, instead of me, you know, driving back to Sudbury and, you know, she was going to consult with my doctor and let her know what the next steps are. But the next steps are like, 
so okay so end of March end of April I called the office I let them know which days I had headaches for how long you know that when all that stuff in there I have a prescription for the couple of pills I will try I'm supposed to let her know if those pills help or not but I mean when you have a doctor saying that you know it's very you know unlikely that it's gonna help then I'll try just for the I will try and then if so then she was talking about like consulting with my doctor and also um, you know getting getting me on a pill or some type of uh, she I forget what she called it you know something I could take or something whatever to do with because I'm waking at the migraine like it's already there the everything is there it's not slowly building up it's there so something I could take that um you know will stop that but if you don't even like I'm it's just very frustrating because I don't want to be taking these pills for something that may or may not work and also I don't want to be taking pills like when nobody knows the answer for because she you know she asked me like like I said do I get them when I was a teenager no I said like I've never had I've never had this pain in my life and she had said well you know that's really strange that it's you know how old are you and I said I'm 41 and I said you know I turned 40 and everything went downhill that that's how I feel about it but um and she said like usually you would people with this type of pain start when they're teenagers and it just gradually gets worse well that that's not my case and I think that's kind of um another like I don't want to say they're stumped but when nobody has an answer and it's just frustrating it's just really frustrating so now I go back and see my family doctor next week but like there's only so many like you just get tired you know what I mean you just get um oh you just get tired of nobody having an answer for you and like it's I don't know what to say so I don't know well I have an appointment next week um, I'll see what happens with it. I know I'm going to let my family doctor know that I'm tired. Like this is my second appointment and I'm tired of like, and it takes, I, I find that it takes a lot out of me, like going that far. Like, and if I'm going somewhere just to, for somebody to say, well, you know what? I don't think this is going to work, but try this. And if that doesn't work, then you know what? We'll give you something else to take so they don't happen. But I don't want, like, if you, I can see if they said, okay, this is this and, you know, this is what is going to help you and you're going to take this every every day. But I don't want to take pills every day. Like, I, I, and I know some of you may be thinking, like, well, why wouldn't you take the pill? Because the the pills may solve this problem, okay? Like the pain here, but it's everything else that's going on. It's not gonna help with. So, I just want, I just want the pain to stop. And if the first and like first, I just want an answer. I just want to know what the hell is going on with me. And at this rate, I don't know if I'm gonna have an answer anytime soon. But you know what, I'm. I just, I can't really, I don't know, it's just frustrating and that's what happened in Sudbury and now I'm, like I said, I'm back home with no answers and I don't know what, uh, I, like I don't really know what else to say about it. now. But I will, you know, I will see, you know what, I may do a video next week on 
when I go to the doctors and let you know what my family doctor has to say. Um, now, with all that being said, uh, if you watch the video before this one, you will see I got pulled over from a police officer coming back to Timmins. If you didn't watch that video, you should go back and watch that. I'm going to have a big uh, talk about this tomorrow because <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> um, I'm sure what you, you know, you probably heard Ed, I'm not sure, but he probably explained it and, but I, I have a lot to say about that and that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> So, um, I think that's everything. Um, I don't have any answers, so that's not really, you know, but anyways, um, yeah, go back and watch the video before this one if you want to kind of you know, know what's going on. And uh, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to have a talk about this because I don't like liars. So anyways, um, I think that's everything. Uh, you know, there's, I, w I was driver today, so, you know, like I, I like I got some clips, but not, a, you know, a lot, which is fine because the trip wasn't about me, you know, taking clips on the way there, but anyways, um, yeah, so watch the video before this one, watch this one, wait for tomorrow, or I'm doing a video tomorrow, so it'd be, um, I guess it would be the next day that, when, I don't know how that works. See, the brain isn't working right. Anyways, just stay tuned for everything. Um, so that's it. That's all. Bye.